painter sire Enrico Caruso. Enrico Caruso died at the age of 28, uh, tragically, unfortunately, in a barn fire in Vermont. Um, he was um, a very well-known trepanner stallion standing here in the United States. He had been the reserve champion of his stallion performance test and was a successful show horse in the S, or in other words, just short of um, international caliber dressage competitions in Germany. He had been a foundation sire in the trepanner breeding, um, including producing licensing champion in uh, Castellani, the sire of Gribaldi. Gribaldi, uh, many of you know uh, from his uh, German success in dressage a very uh, flamboyantly moving black Tricaner stallion. Lord Luciano that we're looking at in the ring now is an American bred trecaner. He was uh, sent to Germany um, in 2005 and went through the German approval system there and is now fully licensed in Germany. But not with Hanoverians, that's with Westphalia and Rhineland. He was competed in by the Finnish rider, uh, Terry Steggers, at Free St. George. He has competed up to intermediaire. This young stallion was the first American bred trecaner to be accepted by the German trecaner Verband stud book. And it was said at the time that he was the first horse in over 50 years to be entered into their stud books that was not bred in Germany. Lord Luciano is owned by Deborah Tyler from Vermont. Lord Luciano is being handled by Klaus Schengberg, who is not from Hilltop. He is the training manager at High Point Hanoverians on the Eastern Shore in Maryland, another extremely successful breeding operation here on the East Coast, where they breed both Hanoverians and uh, German Oldenburg Verband bred youngsters. And now I think we're going to have a little break to set up the jump shoot. Well, we will move outside to the hard ground from the stallion. Ah, okay. Next, we're going outside to look at the.
I mentioned earlier, Lord Luciano was the fourth generation um, product of Thai for Thai World Farm in Vermont. The dam sire, Yunri, Yunri. Say it again. Ankaru. Ankaru. There we go. Uh, <laughs> was also um, owned by um, Tyler Farms. That stallion was competed by George Williams, also successfully up to Grand Prix Dressage, and was licensed by the German, the German Hanoverian Vermont. I'm sorry, the German Trainer Vermont. And ISR Oldenburg and the American Trainer Association. He was the 1990 USDF All Breed Grand Prix champion and the American Trainer Association Horse of the Year and Grand Prix champion. <laughs> Lord Luciano is really very much the product of North American breeding because even his grand dam sire, Donawind, stood in Canada in the 80s. Lord Luciano, the stallion Tannenberg. Tannenberg was a direct descendant of uh, Troutman, who was very heavily influenced by thoroughbreds. Um, and Troutman stood at Sella. His mother was also a twin. Was a twin. His mother was a twin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The small one or the big one? I just learned another interesting fact about Lord Luciano. His dam was a twin, which of course we know doesn't happen very much in equine breeding. So uh, the state is able to compensate 
some things in this confirmation, but uh, in the gates, and we also like the attitude uh, of the necessary and, and the temperament. So we are also happy to say that this stand is accepted for the